new video lecture. Today we will discuss a problem related with the parabolic arch. So before going to the steps, please note down the question. A three-hinged parabolic arch hinges at the supports, and the crown has a span of 24 meter and a central rise of 4 meter. It carries a concentrated load of 50 kilonewton, 5 zero, at 18 meter 1 8 from left support and a uniformly distributed load of 30 kilonewton per meter over the left half portion. Determine the moment, thrust and the radius shear at a section 6 meter from the left support. Okay. So after writing the question, so please try to solve by yourself. For going to solve, please draw the sketch by yourself. So in this question, it is given a three-hinged arch, and it is a three-hinged arch A, B, and C. And this B point is the crown point, and this both A and C are the uh, hinged supports. Okay. And the question the loads are given us 30 kN per meter that is acting at the left half portion or the 12 meter span it is acting. And the 50 kN is acting at a distance 18 meters from this left support. Okay, so from this support it is 6 meter since the total span length is 24 meter. And the rise of this crown point is 4 meter. And in the question it is given that we have to find out the bending moment, normal thrust and the radial shear at a point 6 meters from this hinder support A. So that we have to find the bending moment at point B and the normal thrust and also the radial shear. So for finding the this value, we need to find out the reaction VA, VB and then horizontal thrust. Then what is we have to find this, how much is the vertical distance of this point D? That is also very much. So these are the details you have to find out. So right now we will go to find out the vertical reaction. For finding out this vertical reaction, we have to consider the point. Let us take the point. Moment about this point A equal to 0. Either you can take this point A or B. Sigma m a equal to zero or sigma m b equal to zero. In this case, we are consider, we are going to consider this moment about point a equal to zero. Such so that if we are going to take this v b, it is acting in the anti clockwise direction. So v b multiplied by total distance is 24. Then this 50 kilometer, it is acting in the clockwise direction. So 50 multiplied by total distance is 18 meter. Then what about 30? 30 is also acting in the clockwise direction. 30 multiplied by total distance is 12. Then the half the distance is 6. So finally, you will get 127.5 kN as the VB value. This vertical shear, shear vertical uh, support value. Then we have to find out the VA value. So total loads acting as VA plus VB equals 30 multiplied by 12 plus 50 that is you will finally get VA equal to 282.5 kN after substituting the value of VB also. Then our intention is to find out the horizontal thrust edge. Both the value of horizontal thrust are equal in both the supports since there is no horizontal force are acting. So either you can take left hand side or right hand side for solving this uh, horizontal thrust. So sigma m b equal to 0, let us say this sigma m b equal to 0, such that v a multiplied by 12, that is acting in the clockwise direction, v a multiplied by 12, then this 30 is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, that is why it is given minus. So 30 multiplied by 12, into 6, then it is also acting in the anticlockwise direction, so minus h into 4 equal to 0. So finally, you will get horizontal thrust value is 307.5 kN. Then, regarding the then our intention is to find out the bending moment. Bending moment that is point D. For that, we will consider this VA horizontal thrust 
then also this 30 kN meter only we are taking this much values what all forces are acting over this side ok so we can write down as Va multiplied by x since it is acting in the clockwise direction then minus h into yd y is negative it is in the anti clockwise direction and again it is this 30 kN per meter is also acting in the anti clockwise direction and we in this case V is not H is not but this B Y D is unknown so our next injection is to find out the Y D value that is vertical distance of this point D for that the parabolic equation we know that Y equals 4SX multiplied by L minus X divided by L square in this case H is the crown distance that is this vertical distance of this crown point then X is the where we have to find out the that is the horizontal distance of point D. So we can write down as H equals 4 and X equals 6. Here it is going to be 6. So we can write down as 4 minus finally we will get the point distance as 3 meter. Okay. So if you write down next our intention is to find out the unknown value why we got as 3 meter. So if you substitute this 3 meter over this equation, you will finally get the value of 232.5 kN. That is the moment acting at the point D. So our first value we got to. Then our next intention is to find out the vertical shear acting over each point. So here if you consider this VA one vertical force, then this 30 kN per meter is the other vertical force. So we will only consider this 6 meter distance only. So VA minus 30 multiplied by 6. So finally you will get the value of vertical shear at point D equals 102.5 kN. Then we have to find out how for the equation of normal press and radius shear there is a value called theta. For finding the theta value, please go through the equation of parabolic equation that is y equals 4 at x multiplied by l minus x by l square if you open the bracket 4 x then l x minus x square by l square if you differentiate it with respect to x then d by by dx equals 4 x l minus 2 x by l square that is d by by dx we know that it is a slope then tan theta equals 4 multiplied by 4 that is h is the crown distance L is the total span distance 2 multiplied by X is the distance of this point A to the point D horizontal distance ok then you will finally get the theta value that is theta value is 18.435 degree and then we go through the normal stress equation we know just to substitute the value we sign it up to H cos theta please by heart this equation that normal horizontal stress standard radial shear equation ok we already discussed the how we derived this formula so even if you didn't watch this go and watch so n equals v sin is of the h cos theta if you substitute the corresponding values that is vertical shear then theta value horizontal thrust you will finally get 324.133 kN and the radial shear also similarly you can find out v cos theta minus h sin theta 102.5 for vertical shear theta value 18.435 if you substitute, in our radius shear value is going to be minus 2.89 into 10 raised to minus 4 kN. The value is very small. So these are the values we got. That is bending moment, radius shear, then normal thrust for a parabolic arch. So with this, we will wind up today's section. Thank you.